Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screen record on your iPad Pro. So the first step is you want to head over to settings, then you want to find here, control center, tap on control center, scroll down to the bottom until you see screen recording, tap on the plus, and now screen recording has been enabled. In order to start a screen recording, you just want to swipe down from the top right, and then you're going to see this brand new screen recording toggle right here. Then we'll press on this toggle and you'll be brought to the screen recording page. You see a microphone on or off. So if you tap on this, it will switch between on and off. If the microphone is off, it will capture, uh, the screen recorder will capture the internal system audio. Let's say, you know, typing on an on-screen keyboard, playing video games, you know, the game audio, all that good stuff. As long as mute is off and you have audio on right here. And if you turn on the microphone, it will still record the internal audio, again, the gaming, uh, the keyboard however it will also record your voice so you can hear me speaking right now let's say you're doing a screen recording and you're speaking that will be captured if you turn on the microphone now when you want to start the screen recording just make sure photos are selected and you tap on start recording you have a time down so you know you can just go to the home screen or something like that and once the time down is uh, done you can see the screen recording has started so every action you do on your device is going to be captured right you know going through the home screen opening up applications everything will be recorded so let's say if i go to uh the um i don't want to open up any apps because this is actually my personal life but let's do a news here all these apps which you're opening they will be recorded uh no issues at all now once you're done with the screen recorder you just want to swipe down from the top right and you see this icon right here you can tap on that you can long press and then tap on the stop recording you can see how long i've been recording for right here or you can just tap on the red icon at the top right and then tap on the stop right here. Either way, we'll stop the screen recording. Sometimes the other ways to stop, you know, the icon on the top right, that will disappear. And if it does, of course, you can just tap on that icon right there and that will also stop the screen recorder. Now, once you're done, you can go to photos and you should see that screen recording right here. So if I scrub through, you can see me swiping across the home screen, recorded, no issues. We're opening up applications, closing, record as well. So you want to open up the news application and that's great. Now, this is a free screen recorder. However, if you want to record gameplay at high quality, the Apple internal screen recorder isn't for you. And the reason why is because it has a capped bit rate of, I think, 3,500 kilobytes per second, which is okay, but it's not great. You want to be recording, if you're recording gameplay, 8,000, 7,000 kilobytes a second. So if you want to, you know, level up your game, you know, I would recommend you get a capture card, but if you can't afford a capture card, what you want to do is just search right here for record it, and you want to get this screen recorder right here. So this screen recorder does cost money. I think it costs four pounds. However, this is by far the best screen recorder you will ever get. So if we just open up record it, just like that, uh, you can see bitrate. We can change the bitrate, which is the quality of the video. So even though you may be recording at 1080p, if the bitrate is low, you will just see like big blocks. If you if you've ever watched a Twitch stream and you've watched a guy and he's streaming at 1080p, but like the is like the quality is really bad. That's the reason it's the bitrate. I recommend you set this to eight megabit per second, and this is going to uh, ensure that you're not going to have any blocky or any bad textures. You also see the frame rate here. You can change the frame rate if you'd like to, and you also have the resolution as well. 1080p is more than enough. Now, if you go to settings here, if you do want to buy Pro, there'll be like an option to buy right here. I personally bought Pro because I actually used to use a screen recorder all the time for my Fortnite gameplays. You know what? Might as well pay the extra premium because this is the best screen recorder available. Now, when you want to start the screen recording, you just tap on the, um, you see, you tap on the red icon and you just want to find where it says record it. Tap on that. And of course, the microphone, if you want that on, it will just capture uh, you know your sound like when you're speaking if you turn that off it will just capture the internal game audio you tap on the start broadcast here and you just want to wait for this to time now and you can see the recording has started you can go around blah 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 and once you're done you just go back to the recorder app even if you close out this app so if i close out of it and open it up again you can see um, it's glitched out here but when i stop the recording just like that by using the same way as earlier you're going to see it will pass that uh, recording into the application no issue at all now if you want to remove all the fluff out of your recording you can go to the video editor and when i mean fluff you can see if i start uh, the recording here you can see you know i'm in the re uh, record application for a couple of seconds well what you can do is you tap on a trim and once you tap on the trim you can just trim out that beginning part and we'll just tap on the tick and we'll tap on the save it may take a bit of time to process your edit and once it's processed you can save it to your camera roll 
share all that good stuff. So you will need to stop on my recordings if you do do an edit and you're going to see this one here and then that's the recording. You're going to tap on share and then camera roll and just like that video saved successfully. Let's take a look at it and uh, there we go. Just like that. There's that recording. So really that's all there is to it to this guide. Hopefully this video did help you out. Bit of an in-depth one and short and sweet. Oh my god, that's an impossible thing on YouTube. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.